Man, it's been maybe three months since I put a video out. Quit my job of 17 years, sold the house, took the kid out of school, loaded the wife, all our gear into a U-Haul, and here we are in Montana. And on the drive up, I got to thinking, I wonder if my bow's gonna shoot the same at distance with the change in elevation. I haven't put much thought into it. Similar temperatures to the last time I shot this bow in North Carolina, I was shooting that out to 80 yards and dropped a couple in from 100. So I know the sight tape's good for that. So we're just gonna shoot a couple here today and see if there's any difference. And then if you're ever coming out west, then you know you'll have to re-sight your tape in or not as the case may be. So I'm bang on 60 here. And so let's shoot a couple and we'll get some empirical data. Well, there you go. So those two arrows that I've shot out at 60, they're both about, we'll call it four inches to the left. Now that might be that my sight or my rest has been adjusted a little during transit, but in terms of height, pretty much spot on out at 60. I'm gonna drop this back to 80 and 100 and lob a couple in and we'll see if it stays the same. So here we are at 80. That felt a little low. I'm not sure that shot will be truly reflective. That one felt a bit better. Let's go check it out. Well, I can see that first arrow that I said felt like I, uh, I tugged it. it. Wasn't a great shot, but we can see the second one that I thought felt pretty good. Again, height-wise, that's looking pretty good out at 80. So when I shot at 60, I was about four inches off. And now that I'm shooting at 80, it's about uh, maybe six inches. So something's definitely up uh, with my sight or my rest. But I'm going to drop it back to 100 and shoot out there. I feel like in terms of height, there's no problem. There is a little bit of wind blowing in behind, but not enough to really affect it, I don't think. So anyway, I'll drop it back another 20 and shoot a couple of hundred and see where we get to. Anyway, here we go. We'll lob a couple in at a hundred. And that one felt like it broke a little low. I'm never gonna shoot an animal out at a hundred, but it's always fun to come out on the target and shoot a couple of long range and I can see that that second shot that I thought broke low certainly has that bottom one is that bottom one is poor shooting from me but that top one there that is still at the right height granted it's a sample of one I don't have any other bows or any other people doing this but for me in terms of height wise the elevation hasn't affected how my arrows are flying out at distance um, yeah it's shooting a little to the left we've seen that on the 60 80 and 100 yards but I think that's just um, the rest or the sight being a little bit out but certainly in in terms of the height there's there's no issues there so anyway what do we take away from this well I think elevation's not going to be a problem when you're coming out west but certainly a lesson learned here make sure you check your gear something could have been bumped in transit and you definitely want to get that addressed before you go out and hunt any animals but anyway i'm going to put the bow away i'm going to go get the fishing rod i'm going to go chase a few trout magic hey thanks for joining me get out there chase your dreams they're not chasing you all right we'll catch you on the next one